Hello. Hi. What's up? So this happened. Ooh. This is not what we're gonna talk about in this video. A couple weeks ago, I was scrolling through Instagram when I noticed that Besant Dinor will be coming to Alexandria for an event and she will be there. So I said, ooh, perfect timing. I wanted to to give her one of my pieces as a gift because, you know, she's an amazing I like videos. So, so I said, okay, uh, well, I will take it. And I was ready. I did the artwork and I surprised her with it. And she did an unboxing on her Instagram and it was all great. So today I'm going to be sharing with you this whole experience. And so, yeah. Uh, that's basically what this video is about. I'm gonna be drawing her and giving the drawing to her. And yeah, that's it. Um, so let's get started and let's go and let's begin. Okay, so we're starting by preparing the sketch and the sketch looked a bit iffy at the beginning. It didn't look really like her. Uh, her the nose was not looking like her. The eye was not looking like her. It was looking like a complete other person. And so I just completed the drawing off camera. And a one and a two and a three and a cool transition. Woo! Ta-da! So then we're getting straight into the shading. I use fine liners and a variety of pencils from 2B to 10B and 12B even. But yeah, for this drawing, I really wanted it to be my best portrait. I really don't do portraits as much, but I'm trying to do them more and more. I'm trying to get more into the field of portraits because portraits are the thing that people usually commission people to do more than landscapes and these sort of things so i'm trying to get more into portraiture so yeah that's what i am doing here uh this is on an a4 paper now i decided to start by the eyebrows and i did the eyebrows in fine liners but i had to draw each individual little hair this was like so so hard but yeah, if you're wondering what's the thing on her head, uh, it's her hijab, but she ties it back, so there's nothing on her neck, so that's why. But yeah, I completed shading the face, and for the face it was really hard because she's not very light-skinned, nor is she dark-skinned, she's kind of an in-between shade, and I guess I just never drew an in-between sort of person. So I, I had to do a lot of experimenting, a lot of rubbing and erasing and then going back with the pencil until I was just happy and left it. But yeah, I then completed, completed the shading and I'm gonna let you guys chill for a little bit without my annoying voice. So yeah, just let's chillax for a little bit with some music. I really would like to get more into portraiture because, you know, people usually commission people to do portraits rather than landscapes and pretty flowers, you know. Here, I decided to do a whole other technique, which is getting a colorless blender to blend everything out. This worked wonders. I'm gonna do it now, like, on every drawing that I do. It blended it. It looked so smooth. It looked so good. Then came the nose. The nose, uh, in the image, it had a shiny part, and that's what made it have, like, like, a part going down and a part going up. So, I'm pretty happy with the nose. It's my favorite part of the whole drawing. And then I just outlined everything and added a few marks, because she has a few, like, uh, the, like not dimples like um freckles on her nose so i did that and then i began the neck i was not happy with the neck at all i honestly rushed the neck so much that i'm not happy with it but you know we start somewhere and this is my somewhere so i guess i'm not gonna like say anything about it because it doesn't look that bad and then i did the scarf the scarf was white so i did very light shading on it i mean the hijab but then uh I did her earrings, and her earrings, they were just looking gray or black in the image, so I just got a pencil and did it with them, and did a few like loop things, and the other earring, it had a sort of a shadow on it, so I did the shadow cast on it, and then I began doing the necklace. 
That's my arm. My arm is hurting bad and the cast is gonna stay from three to six weeks. I, I really don't know, but uh, the doctor said that it's minimum three weeks and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do about it. So yeah, we're just living and trying to make art work. When I was doing this artwork, thankfully my arm wasn't broken yet. So that's a good thing. But yeah, then I completed the drawing and then I started getting into the painting. For the painting part, I used uh, acrylic paint and I painted the flowers with it and I also painted the background I think that that is what made this painting have a pop I know that a lot of people will say oh oh why did you include the paint I wanted it all to be black but this is what made the face pop and this is what made the face shine I guess and I think that this is the best part of the painting I don't know but for me it is and the flowers were pretty easy to make I uh, just like kind of used the reference and my imagination and voila this is what the final piece turned out like and yeah just like that we're gonna go and give it to Biso Basent and get her reaction so yeah okay so she told me that she would be doing like sort of an unboxing thing on her Instagram so I'm really excited to see what she's made on there so let's watch it for the first time together now and see what she has made okay yeah, so ready, set. Oh my God. Uh, the first thing is Yes, that's right. The painting is the portrait. Okay, let me pause for a second. I am 13, not 16. I'm going to turn 13 but it's okay. Uh, no problem. بجد انا مش مصدقني في ناس في السن ده ما شاء الله يعني بيبتدوا بيشتغلوا على نفسهم يعني او كمان عنده يوتيوب شانل بيشرح فيها او بيوري ازاي هو بيبينت هبقى احط لكم لينك اليوتيوب. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like and hopefully I will see you guys in a future video. Bye bye. Peace. Thank you percent.